Konnichiwa, Mitoro, Sake, Oro, and Des! Don't forget the Des! Kowa! Nambu Ryu, Junmai. It is very pretty. It's very pretty. See, we try to buy sake according to what's going to be good, you know, what's different, what's out there. Lindsay picks bottles by how cute they are. <laughs> this one has a go go top. Yeah, hello. It is beautiful. It is beautiful. So, this particular Junmai, Nambu Ryu. Nambu Ryu. It's from Iwate. And it's following from the same brewery as the show we did last week from Asa Baraki. Asa Baraki. Asa Baraki. And it's from Iwata, which is in northern Honshu. You got your backwards California like this. It's at the top. Oh, sorry, wrong California. So it's like that. It's right here in the upper <laughs> northeast. Let me give you the deets, okay? It's from Asa Baraki, <laughs> which is from uh, Iwate Ken. Northern Honshu, and the rice type is a Toyo Nishiki, which is a... We never had that before, did we? No, I think it's probably going to be a new rice type for us. I don't think we've actually tried a Toyo Nishiki rice type. Oh, yeah, um, the same Ibuwai or the polishing rate on this bad boy is 60%. 60. And the alcohol content is 15 and a half, which is right there. That's perfect for you. <laughs> Should get you, like, extra Lindsay. And <laughs> the Nihon Shudo, or sake meter value, is a... Plus, Plus two. two, so it's going to be demi sec, kind of dry, halfway mm. dry, right? Acidity is only a one four, 1. 4. and it means southern stream. Southern stream. Wow, southern comfort. <laughs> southern <laughs> comfort. She said southern comfort. Here, you know what? I think all we need to do to solve this problem is crack the bottle. So pretty. It's so pretty, like chili de omodo. <laughs> Here, let's get the gotta keep it gold okay this is a very nice bottle it's very elegant hey this one's clear clear oh no there's a yellow there's slight yellow, yellow tingy tinge yep green yellow lime yellow <laughs> that'd be so funny <laughs> if it just went and like no it wouldn't be funny actually because then i'd be on the on the carpet oh, trying that's to, like, like half the bottle why? Mm. You don't want to drink half? I want to drink all. Okay, it does have a light yellow tinge to it, but not as much as normal. Mm -hmm. And then let's pour some out. Oh, you know, I need to use my my patented competition cup. Competition I need cup. to bring mine. You know, the competition cup is good for the coloration. Yeah. Okay, and then one for solar bamboo and one for Michael Choi. Hey, Michael Choi, by the way, I ordered some stuff from you on We Rule. Can you hurry up with that? Thank you. Flying broomsticks. Flying broomsticks. <laughs> one for Tofi Claus and one for Colin. It's actually Colin, but it's more fun if you say Colin because <laughs> such <laughs> Oh, do you need some? Yes. Okay. <laughs> and then, do you want to use your pimp cup or this little guy? Only that. Okay. Then if it's Lindsay's. Oh. There. That's the Lindsay yes. size. No, none for Philip. Philip can use the pimp cup. Here, this is all Philip gets right here. <laughs> See, oh. pouring it in that cup sounds like Harry Potter is going to like do something. Kay. Oh, it smells good. Smell. I can't even lift. Smell it. I can't lift the cup. Wow. It smells like heaven on paradise. It does smell like heaven. You know what it smells like to me? It smells like forest after a rain. <laughs> No, I swear to God, I'm not even trying to frolic in the meadow. I mean, it really does smell like forest. It smells like, it smells like solar bamboo. Do you know, do you know what? Like raindrops gently no, wait, falling wait. on a bamboo. See, this is going to be a leaves. hard question because being from Hawaii, you probably don't know what a cypress tree smells like. I don't think we have any in what Hawaii. In the world but it cypress. smells like a cypress or a cedar, like a cypress or a cedar oh, tree. I smell cedar. It's really, really light, like when you walk into one of those closets. Oh, it smells delicious. But it has a little fruity smell, too. Like tomato fried fruit. You can't taste it yet. Hi, we got a compa. It smells so good. Okay, like we're, we're going to stick to Woodsy. Ooh la la. <laughs> I like this. Okay, hold that thought. Studio audience, do you think this shit's going to fly over there by itself? You actually got to come and get it. <laughs> this ain't Oprah. We don't have, like, assistance. 
Like, okay, right now, all of y'all, look under your chair, girl. We have a <laughs> gift for you. I'm in the giving spirit. You're all getting iPads. Yeah. I don't hear any cheering. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, is is uh, Solar Bamboo driving? Because I'm gonna see what happens when he does to a car when he's sober. <laughs> This is nice. It's smooth and then it has a. It, it is, okay. But it has. You can Man, taste I like that smell, dude. It smells like fresh cut forest. <laughs> you can taste the, the acid at the end. No, it does, it does have an acid bite in the beginning, mm -hmm. but then it mellows out really well. You know what it is? It's kind of rich. This one's good. It's trippy that. It's very citrusy. Right, it's citrusy, but if you say that yellow thing, I, you <laughs> zip. Like lime? There you go. No, it's citrusy, <laughs> like like yuzu, okay? Or yuja for the Koreans. It's very tangy too. Okay, here, here's, what, here's what's trippy about this. As you pour sake, you'll notice it all has the same general viscosity. This one's thick. But yeah, the, the mouthfeel on this one is thick, this one's as thick. if you were drinking something thicker, like creamy, right? So it pours like any other alcohol, but it has a certain viscosity, or I call it rich. Rich, uh, maybe you can say creamy, yeah. but it's, it's, it's rounded. That initial bite, it just goes in real quick and then it, <coughs> out of there. It's like panties on sale at Walmart. <laughs> Does the studio audience I hate Walmart, like it? By the way. They like it. They look happy. <laughs> mm, this is very good. You know what? I decided I need to taste some more. When do you not need to taste more? What are you trying to say? <laughs> I just got to make absolutely sure. I want to make sure that our viewers have the best advice so they know mm. when they go to buy some Nambu Ryu that don't know what they're tasting. This is nice. It's thick and creamy-like. Very creamy-like. Now, um, there's something about this that tastes a little different. Whatever this rice, what was the rice type? It's delicious. Toyo Nishiki. It is good. What are the tasting notes? Oh, rich, we said that. Rich oh, and creamy. It's rich and creamy, but it's kind of rounded. Like, the acid is only there for like a quick second. It's just like a, ooh, don't do that again. It's like, you know, <laughs> When your mom gives you that look, like you better stop it, but you didn't really get smacked. You just got that look so that feels keep, like you so got you smacked. Keep doing it? Yeah, so you know you know you got smacked, but you know, you know you're about to get in trouble. It has that. Um, that that fruitiness is very citrusy, right? Like and, lime. Like lime. And I think you know what I think that um, that viscosity comes from the fact that it's dry. It's a medium dryness, it's not super dry. It's not super dry. It's not too bitey. Very nice. So, this Jumai is 